We group things in almost every aspect of our lives, from sorting laundry to organizing our cupboards. We group objects that share something in common to make our tasks more efficient. Companies apply the same logic in their planning, from the manufacture of clothing or cars to the global distribution of food. Coordinating when and how much to produce greatly impacts a company's bottom line, and in turn the price that we the consumers pay to enjoy these goods. Think of your most recent grocery run. If you're like me, you scan the weekly specials, compare it to your list, and then map out where you'll go. At each store, I stop, park my car, and get a shopping cart. So I try to organize my purchases in a way that has me visit as few stores as possible. That way, I minimize that setup time of parking and looking for a cart. Now, picture that on a larger scale. Instead of buying groceries, I manufacture thousands of items on a machine. And instead of parking, I spend time adjusting this machine when I change production over from, say, an item that's red to an item that's blue. Now, I could just produce in an ad hoc manner, or I could observe that by coordinating production by color, I spend less time setting up and have more time to produce. This is a coordinated lot sizing problem. It determines when and how much to make while balancing the cost of holding inventory and setting up machines. Watching someone solve a lot sizing problem in practice will look pretty simple. At the click of a button, an entire schedule can be created and integrated within an organization so that forklift drivers know where to deliver material and assemblers will know their daily targets. When that button is clicked, a lot sizing problem is solved. And my goal is to create improved solution techniques that can be adopted by software providers and be part of powerful data analytics tools. I use an optimization model, and it can be a little bit difficult. A heuristic, or a rule of thumb, is usually needed just to find a feasible solution. That's right, feasible, not necessarily lowest cost. And the most commonly used heuristic doesn't always work. So what I do differently is apply a cutting plane approach to chop away portions of the solution space. I generate a schedule, check if it can accommodate the required needs, and if not, I'll add a mathematical constraint or a cut to prevent me from choosing that particular schedule again. This method always finds the best solution, but it takes a bit more time than those unreliable heuristics. So just as there's a trade-off between holding a lot of inventory and frequently setting up machines, there's also a trade-off here between time and money. To me, obtaining a better quality solution is worth that added computational effort. It means that a company's day-to-day -day operations are going to be much more efficient. And to us, that translates to better customer service at a lower cost, all at the click of a button. Thank you.